Welcome back to Locationship. I'm Chloe May. I'm so excited for today's episode because it's the first one out of California. We are in Scottsdale, Arizona. Are you here to ask me 73 questions? Hotel Valley Ho sponsored my stay for the weekend and put me in the most incredible loft I have ever seen. This place has so much personality and I felt like I was in a retro paradise. The hotel itself opened in 1956 and is a total hot spot in Scottsdale, especially in the summertime. It's known for its mid-century modern architecture, super cool aesthetic, and it even used to be a hideaway for stars in the 50s when they wanted to escape Los Angeles, which is basically what I'm doing here. To kick off the day, I headed downstairs to a super trendy restaurant called Zuzu for brunch. There I met with Skylar, a local who works for the hotel and knows the city like the back of her hand. Got the wow. avocado toast. Wow. This is like the most exquisite <laughs> avocado toast I've ever seen. It's like an art masterpiece. And then we've got the burrito with the breakfast potatoes. We have so much stuff on this table. <laughs> We're going in. Everything was insanely delicious, and Skylar even gave me a recommendation for what I should do next. One of my favorite places is the Scottsdale Museum of Contemporary Art. It's right in the hub of where you know downtown Scottsdale is, and a lot of activity there. Um, it's been around for a long time. We're on Main Street right now, and okay. this is where a ton of the galleries are at. So this is kind of like the art walk of downtown. Oh, Scottsdale. I can tell we've got some like super cool sculptures. Yeah, there's here. a lot of like public art and sculptures, and of course a lot of galleries. Some of them have been here for decades. Skylar had to run, so I said my goodbyes and headed inside. I stumbled upon the Arizona Native American Festival, which happened to be taking place right next door. There I ran into Amy, who had just moved to Scottsdale a couple of months ago, and gave me my next place to hit. If you ever read the newspaper and saw the little comic strips, uh -huh. there's something called Family Circus. I don't okay. know if you've heard of that. But it's a very so. like it's been around since like the 50s or something. Uh -huh. But they talk about this little ice cream shop they always go to in the comic strip. And that is the actual one that they have here. No way! Is there like a specific flavor I should get, or everything is just amazing? I mean, just like go everything. For it. You can't go wrong. <laughs> get some bananas in there. Okay. Three types of ice we're gonna, cream. We're gonna get some ice cream then. <laughs> here at Sugar Bowl and these are the comics that Amy was talking about. Super, super cool. Oh my god. Heaven. The streets of Old Town Scottsdale were completely packed with locals and visitors. I was a little confused as to what was going on, but thankfully I met Denise who gave me the rundown. So what's happening right now? So today was the Scottsdale Frauda Del Sol Parade, which leads up to the rodeo that's coming next week. Oh, and then okay. after the parade is what's called the Trails End Festival. And it's just a big festival with music and drinks and food and a lot Very of people cool. are a lot of fun. As if the parade couldn't get any better, I got to work on my dance skills thanks to my new friend Henry. It's like today is uh, rodeo day, so uh -huh. country, two step. So, what, so two step dancing. Yes. Can you can you get like give us a little sneak demo? Peek? Quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Quick, 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 slow. Uh, I'm getting the slow. hang of it. And now we'll take the bow. Bow. And let me present Amazing. you to the world. We did it. <laughs> The sun was starting to set, so I freshened up at the hotel and made my way to dinner. Hotel Valley Ho recommended Postino for great food, drinks, and atmosphere, and this place did not disappoint. I even got to sit down with Jackson, the manager of the restaurant, who told me the best things to order. So you definitely have to go with bruschetta. If you take a look at the wine list, yeah. a lot of what we're able to offer is kind of like exclusive stuff that you can't get elsewhere. Anywhere else? The 
pairing of the bruschetta and wine was like heaven to my taste buds and the perfect way to end the day. Thriving. We are going on a hot air balloon ride this morning and I'm so tired but I'm so excited at the same time. We're about to meet the people outside who are gonna pick us up. This is my first time doing a hot air balloon ride so I'm super, super excited. Let's go. officially up in the air. All right, we just got off the hot air balloon ride. It was so peaceful and so gorgeous. And now we're popping champagne, we're having a party, um, and then we're just gonna hang out and have a little picnic. That's all. <laughs> Oi. That's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta get to the airport. I'll see you guys next time for the next episode. And I will see you later, Scottsdale. Bye.